welcome back to my channel. So today I have a completely different kind of video that I have not yet done on my channel before. So this is actually going to be a purchase or pass video. Now I want to give credit where credit is due. The first person in which I have actually seen do this type of a video was Andrea Matilano. I will plop her name on screen and I will also link her purchase or pass video down below. I am not entirely sure if she is the first person to start this trend. I did do a quick search and I have seen multiple other people doing it so I'm not sure exactly who started it but I just want to give credit since this is the first type of video in which I'm going to be doing. I never did an anti-haul because I don't like being completely negative so when I saw Andrea do this type of a video I was like yes why didn't I think of that do a anti haul with a little bit of what I want to purchase in there and before I get started I just want to let you guys know that this is just my opinions you know if you think differently it's nothing against you it's just what I am thinking personally please take no offense so if you see me looking down throughout this video, it is because I am looking at my notes. The first item in which I will not be purchasing is actually a palette. It is the one by KKW and Mario. It is their 10 year anniversary palette. And this is nothing against either of them. I think Mario is an amazing makeup artist. He has done some great stuff. And I really did want to purchase his collaboration he did with ABH a few years ago. I was kind of kicking myself that I actually didn't pick that one up because that one looked really beautiful. But this palette, when you get right down to it, if you are an avid makeup enthusiast, your lover, you have a lot of makeup, I feel like these are eyeshadows in which you already have in your collection. If you take out that blue shade, just plop your finger over that blue, and it's just a neutral, warm tone palette. It's nothing really special to it except from the pop of blue, which if you sift through some of your eyeshadow palettes, I'm sure you will find something very similar. And spending $45 on an eyeshadow palette in which I basically have every shade, it doesn't really intrigue me. So for that reason, I'm gonna be saving my money and I'm not gonna be picking up this palette. Moving right along, there is another palette in which I'm not picking up. This one is by Urban Decay. It is the Beached Palette and it is $34. Inside the palette there are eight shadows, however, to me, take away the two blue shadows that look almost identical, and it's basically the heat palette. Am I the only one who's seeing this? It is another warm tone palette with just two pops of blue. It's something in which doesn't get me excited. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need this palette. And I have to say the bronzers in which they are launching with this collection as well, the beach bronzers of Bronzed and Sunkissed are just being repackaged and resold. I mean, so many companies are doing this right now in which they're kind of just taking their old formulas, repackaging, and trying to sell it to us once more as just something different with some other pretty outside packaging. I'm just not into it. So for that reason, I'm not picking up the eyeshadows and I'm not picking up the bronzers. The next item I'm not purchasing is a palette once more. Palettes are kind of on a roll. That's kind of what I gravitate towards the most when I'm looking at new items. And this is the Natasha Denona. Tropic palette. It is $129. Now I do have to say that this palette does look really beautiful. You get some really different kinds of shadows, I think. However, I did see Tati's review on this one and she was not completely sold on it and she is an avid Natasha Denona fan. Like she raves about her palettes all the time. And if this is a palette in which she was kind of like meh about, I'm not going to go out and spend $129 on it. I'm just I'm just not. I do not want to say I'll never purchase a Natasha Denona palette. I feel like one day I might just, you know, splurge and get one. But I mean, I just feel like the price tag is kind of what draws me back as well. That is not just like a random impulse purchase. I could justify like $40, $50 even $60. For me and my budget on makeup, I would rather take my $129 and buy multiple items than just one eyeshadow palette. Next up on my pass list is the Tarte Cosmetics Mermaid Collection. Now I know I am not the only one who feels this way, but mermaids, unicorns, can we stop? 
It is absolutely ridiculous to me how many times this mermaid and unicorn theme has just been redone, rechewed, respit back out at us. Because looking at this entire collection, I'm gonna go through just a couple items. Looking at the Be a Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette, this one is $42, and looking at it, it reminds me so much of all of their previous eyeshadow palettes. And it is just a shimmery, neutral kind of palette with a couple pops of colors. It does not exactly intrigue me. It's just kind of gimmicky with the palette being a shell. That is basically it. And looking at the Minutes to Mermaid brush set, this one is also $42 and you receive five brushes in which just have a little fishtail as the little brush holder, which I have seen for over a year now. If you go on Amazon and you type in like a fishtail brush set, you're gonna find a ton more affordable options if you are actually looking for a brush set like this. I feel like that is a very expensive price and to me, it doesn't exactly scream, you know, everyday usage. I feel like the handle, again, is very gimmicky. And just the rest of the collection, I mean, the whole theme, mermaids, it doesn't draw me in. I'm not about it. I hope this trend completely stops because I am not going to be picking up anything from this collection. I have not touched on this one before. I know it's been out for a few weeks now. It is the Unicorn Collection. This collection, nothing about it appealed to me. I think it looked so little kiddish that I just looked at it and I was like, this is for adults? This is verging on little kid makeup. The Unicorn Palette itself, Life's a Festival Eyeshadow Palette is $42. The Unicorn Tears Bronzers is $30. The Mystical Lipsticks, $22. I mean, none of this screams I need it. Everything just looks so overly gimmicky that the packaging and the way it's presented is just completely throwing me off and it doesn't appeal to me. I don't want to pick it up. I have also seen a few reviews on it and the reviews have not been great. So for that reason, this is another collection in which I'm not picking up. Now I have one last item for my pass list. And this is the spring collaboration between MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star. This is nothing against Patrick Star. I, ha I am subscribed to his YouTube channel. I follow him on Instagram. I absolutely love him. And he is doing some amazing things right now. However, my issue right now is with MAC Cosmetics. We are just rolling into April. It has been three months since the new year and they have had like five collaborations just this year. It was Patrick Star to start, Jeremy Scott, Padma. It is now Patrick Star again, and I saw that they are also coming out with another co collaboration with, I hope I don't butcher her name, it is Alaya Hutton. But if you're recounting Patrick again, that is five. I'm not actually sure if there is more. I wouldn't doubt it if there is, but it has only been three months. They've had so many collaborations. They keep pushing them out and they're not even giving time for the collaborations that they are doing with these people to actually shine. They are literally pushing out the product and then pushing out another one, pushing out another one. They don't give it time to settle people to actually want it, purchase it. I mean, you are thinking like, oh my God, like I cannot keep up with this. There is just too many collaborations that is happening with MAC right now. I would love to see them do a collaboration and take a pause. Let them have their moment, let everyone enjoy the collection, let them purchase the collection talk about it, kind of let it set with people, and then, you know, go into another one a couple months later. Doing a collection a month, and sometimes even two a month, or, you know, being like, oh, this new collection's coming out, but, you know, make sure you pick up this one. Like, it, I'm just like, no, stop it. I cannot handle it, and for that reason, I am not picking up any of the collections right now. I mean, I just can't keep up. I'm not gonna purchase it. And it is absolutely nothing against any of these people that they are collaborating with. I mean, some of the stuff looks absolutely amazing. But for that reason, I'm just not picking up anything from any of these collaborations until I feel like they kind of get the idea that they need to cool it. They need to give these people a chance in the spotlight. 
Now let's move into some positivity. The first item is by BH Cosmetics and it is called Eye Lights. It is a liquid eyeshadow in which they retail for $7 a piece. There are six shades and it looks absolutely gorgeous. They have a really dark, rich blue, a kind of sea green color, a white, a duochrome kind of pink purple one, a straight gold, and a yellow. They look really stunning and I have been on the hunt for some kind of dupes for the Stila ones because those ones work amazing. But I believe they're $24 a piece so they are really expensive and if I can find some other liquid shadows that work just as well as the Stila ones, I want to find them and I need them. The next item in which I am definitely going to purchase is by Morphe Brushes. It is their Blush Trios. They are each $12 and this packaging just looks really sleek to me. It honestly reminds me of ABH and I really enjoy the sleekness of the packaging. I mean this is an example in which you can really sell a product in which doesn't have to be overly marketed with all of these gimmicky things. Sleek, clean, that's how I like it. There are seven different trios in which they have available. They are ranging from blush, peach, pink, fuchsia, rose, coral, and poppy. I think I'll definitely be picking up either the pop of pink or the pop of coral because those two look really beautiful. Morphe also has one more item in which I definitely want to test out. It is called their Brontours. Each one is $12 and you get a perfect shade of contour and bronzer. They look really beautiful and again this packaging just looks so sleek, so simple, so beautiful. And I think that the color combos in which they have created and put together side by side are actually really intriguing to me. I really want to test it out and see if it is an actual like perfect, you know, duo to use together. I will be picking these up and testing them out. I'm wondering if they have them in stores because I need them. Here is an item in which I'm kind of on the fence about. This is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. It is $10.99 and it is going to ship April 13th. Right now is it available for pre-order on Amazon. And the colors do look really beautiful from what they have as swatches. But to me, again, this is an eyeshadow palette in which I'm pretty sure I already have. The reason I'm on the fence about it is because it is a drugstore. I want to see if it has actually great quality because I mean, Drugstore is really stepping their game up. It does remind me a lot of the Modern Renaissance palette, and I do know that Wet n Wild kind of had their own little spin on that one as well, and that one's been tested. If you guys want me to review this palette, you want me to test it out, please leave me a comment down below, and then I would be happy to pick it up. Ooh, the last item on my purchase list. If you have seen any of my videos or especially if you saw my first ever TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul video, you know I am an avid Kat Von D lover. I have a secret passion for her. In my head I'm just thinking like, oh yeah, I look exactly like Kat Von D. You know, I'm completely gothic and not really. <laughs> I want so many tattoos. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Her new palette is the 10 year anniversary palette that she's releasing on Cinco de Mayo. She's going to be dropping the eyeshadow palette, two everlasting liquid lipsticks, a studded kiss lipstick, a tattoo liner, brush collection, metal crush extreme highlighter, and a train case. Now, the palette looks insanely beautiful. This is a palette in which I can get on board with. It kind of reminds me of her Vita Loca palette. I know she's had a few other palettes that are really colorful, but they have all been kind of limited editions, and this one just looks really beautiful. Yeah, I'm sold. And this is not necessarily makeup, but it is another item from her little collection. The train case, if you have seen her video on her Instagram, she's just like unveiling this beautiful little case to store all your makeup. I was just like at the edge of my seat like, oh, oh, I need it. I need it. There hasn't been any prices released with it yet, so I mean, it could be like an insane amount. I mean, as long as it's not too crazy. I want it. If it's too crazy, then I'll probably be like, ah, I want it, but you know, I probably shouldn't. But that was it for my first ever purchase or pass video. If you are purchasing any of the items in which I am passing on, please take no offense. It's nothing against the brands. It's nothing against you. I just thought this would be a fun type of video, let you know what I'm buying and what I'm not. 
But if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, leave me a comment down below what you thought about any of these items in which I'm passing on purchasing. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I post two beauty related videos twice a week. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!